what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is selena and i'm so genuinely grateful to have you here exchanging your energy here with me on the interwebs for today's video we have a diy i've been really inspired by you know like i've been thrifting a lot as usual and i've just been really into customizing my own pieces and i've been seeing on the internet a lot of these cute pieces that are just super expensive but I know I can make it on my own on a budget so I'm so happy to show you two DIYs that I'll be doing today before we get started be sure to give this video a thumbs up but before I head into the video a little bit of a life update I'm sorry I haven't posted in about a month your girl just graduated hey. she's a master now so yes I just got my master's in organizational leadership at California Baptist University it was so crazy to say the least to get a degree in a global pandemic but your girl did it so I'm super stoked and I'm really hopeful that I can start posting more frequently so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can be updated for all my future posts and without further ado let's get right into this video for the first thrift flip I'm going to be changing these really old pair of Urban Outfitters jeans just super plain really simple I actually did this little butthole <laughs> butthole butt rip what is the name not butthole it's this little just little distressing right here even scar was like huh but yeah so i just did this little distressing on it so these are really old i've had these for like four years they're my skinny jeans like I gotta like suck in a little to wear them but I'm hoping that they still fit so I'm hoping to change these plain jeans into these really cute Minga London jeans that I saw online I'll put them up right here they're super cute but really simple and come on 75 pounds for these jeans with these little stickers on it, I knew I could do it on my own. So what you're going to need is, of course, a pair of jeans. You can do them in any color. I just wanted to um, do the same color of the original ones. And I saw this girl at the thrift store the other day literally wearing these pair of jeans. And I was like, girl, you can just make these. You're here at the thrift store. Just get the jeans, get the stuff, whatever. But that's what we're going to be doing today. So what you're going to need is the pair of jeans. And I got these really cute applique butterflies on amazon they look like this it came in 48 so it came with a bunch and i'm hoping to do a couple more diys with these another thing that i've been seeing is um i roller skate now if you don't know but i've been roller skating and i've been seeing a lot of people use uh, butterflies as like a little accessory on the shoelaces I'll put a picture right here too to say what I'm talking about and I'm thinking of creating those myself because they're like 30 bucks online and this whole pack was like $10 so if you want to see that be sure to let me know down below so after you get the appliques and the jeans all you need is your handy dandy iron and basically just iron them on I'm debating if I'm gonna do the same like a uh, design as Minga London but we'll see so I try to angle the camera down to the best of my ability I don't have a great tripod I need to get that I don't know what I'm waiting for but I'm you should really see this treacherous setup that I have right now <laughs> but yeah this is basically it so I'm going to open these ones I think they come with like a bunch of different sizes and stuff but I'm just gonna do like this size and what you do is just basically place them wherever you want. See, this is the hard part for me, though. Like, what colors I really want to pop. But I think I'm just going to try to do, like, contrasting, like, colors. So, like, if it's a cool tone over here, I'm going to do a warm tone next to it. So on and so forth. Maybe even just have this one down there. And the directions say just to iron them on. So I'm going to do that and... I'll be done. So here goes the first one. The directions say to remove the backing first. It doesn't seem removable. Wait, do I remove this? Or maybe, okay, maybe I don't remove it. I'm just gonna try ironing it on, see what it happens. And then you get a cotton towel, just layer on top. My iron like barely works. Like there's not even a cap on it to put water in it, so. I'm just gonna let her sit here for a good minute. Literally did nothing. Maybe I don't need the, okay. I'm just gonna do it without. 
The iron's not even hot enough. Oh my god. So my iron doesn't work at all. So we're initiating plan B, and that's to use a steamer. So I don't know if that's gonna work, but I really hope that it does something at least. We'll see. Steam is on, let's go. Like maybe if I press down on it while it's steaming, it'll adhere. Oh, it's dripping. <sighs> Looks like it's working though. It's not. Every time. <sighs> so plan B and plan C didn't work. So it's come to this. And this better work. Ugh. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it on there and just hope that it gets stuck. Sticks a little. I didn't put it all the way on the heat setting because you're supposed to have a barrier anyway, so it holds it. It worked! Dude, honestly, back in high school, when I'd be too lazy to iron my clothes and I'd be flat ironing my hair, I would literally just grab my t-shirt and a straightener and just... Anyone else? Now I'm gonna finish this whole thing with the flat iron, so wish me luck. I did it! Ooh, look at those! Shout out to Revlon for helping your girl out when Swiffer, what brand is this? When that iron couldn't come through, Revlon did. And look at them, they look so good! Ooh, can't wait to wear these out. So that was supposed to be the easy DIY, so I hope we can pull this one off. But for this next DIY, um, I'm going to be doing those side chain jeans. I'm sure you've seen them all over Instagram. They're super cute, and I love that grungy little edge that it gives with the chains. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But before we do this, I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. So I'm actually going to watch Neighbor Rose's tutorial. Shout out to Neighbor Rose. She is so good. She really inspires me to do all these thrift flips and um, customizing my own clothing. So, Neva, you the savior, shall I say. Now that I am well prepared and well researched, let's get this DIY started. So what you're going to need is a pair of... Black jeans, again, you can do white, you can do denim color, red, whatever you want, but these are the ones that I think would look the best in. So jeans, some scissors, pretty heavy duty considering that these are denim materials, so if you can find some heavy duty scissors. Um, some chain, I got these from Joann's and they're 30 inches long. I wanted to get two because I just wasn't sure if it would go all the way through each of the holes. So you can get two. We'll see how many make I need at the end. And then I just use this sewer's pencil, water soluble marking pencil, optional. And then extra large jump rings. These are all from Joann's. And then these 30 split rings. You don't have to get this many. This is just what I had left over from the pack that I had. But you're going to need jump rings just to finalize the chain loops and just link it all together. So first you're going to mark out how many jump rings you want. I think I'm going to do four. I think four is good enough. So you're just going to mark it on both sides. What I'm actually going to do that's different from Neva Rose's tutorial. She's like well equipped. E equipped she's well equipped with sewing so she's pretty expert but just so that i make sure they're aligned i'm going to mark the place where i want the first eyelet to go and then just directly draw across and then to mark the other side i don't even know if that's a hack but it's just what i'm doing just to make sure that they're in line together she did like five but i'm gonna do four because i'm lazy what will also make this DIY helpful is folding your pants like this so that the side seam is directly in front of you and you can tell if the eyelet holes will be symmetrical. Once you have all your spots marked out, then you're going to want to make a cut. So I'm going to actually cut directly on the seam right here. I'm going to do it properly, <laughs> not that way. But yeah, so I'm just going to directly cut down the seam. But... Before I do that, let me just take a moment. Let's just take a moment to pause. 
Just inhale all the confidence that we need. <sighs> Exhaling all the negative possibilities that could happen. <sighs> now let's do it. So I've made the cut and something else that you want to take note of is you want to cut in a diagonal. So like kind of like a triangle. So I took out the back part of the jean that just has like, you know, where you attach the belt. So I snapped that part off and then you have this. And now I'm going to cut out where the eyelets are going to go. So cut out the little hole where those are going to be set and then... We'll get there. We'll move. We'll, I'll, I'll check in once I once I'm once I'm there. So I figured out where I messed up. So here I laid out where I want the eyelets, and I totally forgot about this stupid little pocket that no one ever uses. And now I have to try to cut out just this little portion for the eyelet. And then also I realized that. It's going to be kind of going into the booty cheek. So wearing this, we'll see. So just keep in mind, if you are doing this, do it on the side that doesn't have this little pocket. I'm back. I don't know if the lighting is different because it has been some time, admittedly. But we are here and that's all that matters. And I finally was able to make all the holes that I needed for the eyelids. And I got them in. Mine came with this little tool. Some of them come with it, some of them don't, so get the ones that do come with it. Basically what you do to close the eyelid is grab this little piece and hammer it down. But of course, me being me, I don't have a hammer. So what are we going to use? A cast iron skillet. Ah, uh, come on, cast iron. So after you have all the eyelets attached, all you want to do is string through the chain and then you're basically good to go. so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it if you like videos like this be sure to give us a thumbs up and if you want to see any more thrift flips or recreations be sure to comment those because i would love to do that for you and i'm so excited to just show you new ways that we can be sustainable utilize clothing that we already have to create something new and fun funky and fresh so what more could you want if that sounds like something you'd like, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated for all my future posts. I hope you're all doing so very, very well. Well, at least the best that you can in times like this. If you need someone to talk to or want to see what I'm doing outside of these videos, be sure to catch me on IG. That's at Selena de Casa. If you want to up your fashion in a cute and sustainable way, be sure to check out my online vintage shop at slowmo.fash. I need to start plugging that more so that you guys can know about it. Your girl is currently unemployed looking into the job market like so i really appreciate you watching these videos and supporting me at slowmo.fash and my vintage line you know i love sustainability and i love fashion so i'm glad that i can combine those two by creating these videos and also selling some cute vintage clothes online i love you all so so very much sending you all love light and good energy and until next time i'll see you in my next video peace